weeding time. This is a time where we separate the seed from the weeds. At what point are we supposed to weed? Well, today we are not going to talk about weeding. We are going to talk about fertilization. Hi, I'm the mud farmer from Shpangali district deep down in the village of Eastern Province. Welcome to my program. Like I always say, I'm not a professional man, but I'm somebody who's so passionate about agriculture, be it animal or crop production. So, today we will look at fertilization. Okay, so as you can see, you remember this field? This is a field which I had planted potatoes, but because of the hot sun, it got bent because the rains delayed. So everything got bent. So quickly, what I did quickly, I quickly planted maize and sorghum on this field. So now, today, I am going to share with you the fertilization of crops. So what we are going to do is come with me as I show you how to do it. said the best way to put fertilizer is at planting it always works better if you do the fertilization at planting i'm talking about defeat decompound so uh, we had put fertilizer at planting here when we had planted uh, uh irish potatoes but because they were burnt we actually we quickly planted the maize this side as you can see there's maize this side and then the sorghum this side and then we've got some orange maize at the far end because we had a one hectare of potatoes so the best way to apply fertilizer is at planting. Now, just in case, in case you missed it at planting, you missed it at planting. Now, at what point are you supposed to uh, to apply fertilizer? Fertilizer is supposed to be applied within seven days of germination. Seven days of germination. Because this is the time it works better. This is the time it works on the roots. That's why the best is at planting. But just in case you missed out at planting, the best is at within seven days apply your fertilizer but the question is how do you apply fertilizer i've seen the common trend where they just throw the fertilizer on top and off they go that is a wrong way of applying fertilizer how do you do the fertilizer you can come along as you can see these means are within seven days so what we did is we we, we, we actually make this hole here we make this hole here 
and then we put our fertilizer. This fertilizer inside. We put our fertilizer here, and then, if you if you want, you can actually cover it. If you want, you can leave it like that. Why do we do that? We do this because in case the heavy rains, and then the fertilizer will be washed away. And then, how do you apply fertilizer? You apply fertilizer five grams per plant. For example, here you need to put. 10 grams, 10 grams. And then, just by the way, there are actually three seeds here, as you can see. Come closer. There are actually three seeds, as you can see. There's this one, there's this one, there's this one. But the question is, what do you do when it comes to such a thing? The best thing you can do is you remove one. If you want for best results, remove one. Because maize, unlike soybeans, are heavy feeders. So what we are going to do is we will remove the weakest. Yeah. The universe and all of them all of them look very healthy so i don't know which one I'm, I'm going to approach but definitely one has to go so what i'm going to do is uh yeah 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 okay I'm going to approach one. So what we said is we have uprooted this one and then you actually throw it away so that you give 10 grams a plant. So meaning that we have 10 grams of decompound here. We make a hole and then we put here. Have I already explained? The reason is very very simple. It's because uh, we don't want the fertilizer to be washed away. That's one of the reasons why we actually make uh, both holes. So now, let me also explain something about uh, the maize because you saw me approach one there, one plant there. Because you know, when me, because I wasn't the person who was planting, there are some times whereby you need people to plant, you find that they've actually overplanted. Because, and like I said, unlike the, unlike the beans and the soya beans, maize, sunflower, these are heavy feeders. Okay, they have to be two per station, two per station, so that you can have healthy crops. So that's what we are doing right here. And then, if you've noticed, I'm not a fan of uh, I'm not a fan of weed killer. Okay, I usually love it if I use the manual labor to actually weed because I feel I personally feel I've got control. I leave what I need to leave. I take away what I'm supposed to take away. Because as you can see, I do a lot of intercropping. So if I use uh, the weed killer, meaning that all my chihuahua, my pumpkin leaves will go. There's watermelon here will go, and uh, these other small, small, small things that are planted will actually go. That's the reason why I prefer using my hands. As you can see in the far end there, what they are doing is they are actually making those holes. The holes they are doing there, after that, we actually put our fertilizer. Don't worry that we are actually they are actually making holes where there are weeds. Right today, we are actually removing everything. As you saw what I was doing that side, we are actually doing the weeding. So. We we'll actually put fertilizer there, and then uh, we can actually weed. But you can only do that if you are pretty sure that the job will be done today. You can only do that if you are pretty sure that the job will be done today, that the weeding will be done today. But that's only applicable to decompound. You can't use the foliar fertilizer where where there is a lot of grass. You can't do that because. Uh, it will be more like you are giving the, the weeds more power. You are giving your enemy a gun to shoot at you. So that's that about the fertilization and stuff like that. But remember, remember in two weeks time, we are supposed to come and apply urea. This will be uh, when the maize reaches our knee level. We need to put urea. This is the time when the maize is preparing 
where to put its cobs. That's the best time to actually apply urea. The theory is the same. Okay, it's just the only difference is because um, uh, urea is more like it evaporates, it melts quicker, especially if the, mo the moisture content is high. But the best as well, if you can actually make this hose, the better. Then you will have no problem. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching my program. I hope you love it. But remember, if you've got any question, get in touch with me on WhatsApp, 0977 851196 Or better still, uh, give me that text message. Or on Facebook, Demand Farmer Kapata. Demand Farmer Kapata. Subscribe. Please like my page. And then so that each time I post something, you'll be able to get a notification. On YouTube, Mad Farmer Kapata. Mad Farmer Kapata, please remember to subscribe because if you subscribe, it'll be very, very easy for you to know whenever I post something new, you will be able to know on time. Please, like I always say, when you get in touch with me on WhatsApp, please avoid those questions like, How are you? The greetings, please keep out from greetings. If you want to greet me, you can actually greet me and go straight to the point. So, I think this is all. For now, so let me go back and ask you what I did. If that was you, I think what I did.